Why does frequency response need to be fast? So, um, essentially because it's, it's more than frequency response. It's actually helping with what's called Rockoff, rate of change of frequency. So, typically, frequency responses, the frequency drops, and initially, you deal with the, the drop in frequency with inertia, which mm-hmm. comes from thermal mass, from spinning, spinning engines, rotors, machinery, on thermal power stations, which helps arrest and reduce the rate of change of frequency. A very high rate of change of frequency essentially can collapse the grid. So that's bad. Yeah. This is why we need inertia. This is because all uh, the, the grid's got all these measurement devices, relays around the place that are measuring rock-off. And then they trip. And yeah. they, they, yeah, they, they trip cities or substations if rock-off goes too fast because they can't measure actual frequency. So you have to wait for a few cycles in the in the, in the sine wave, don't you? So instead you measure the angle of the sine wave, yeah. which is, is, is rock-off. Yeah, so that's faster to do. It's 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 like a um, gory analogy. It's like chopping off your ar- uh, your hand to save your arm, right? Like it, it, if if you don't do that and you don't shed load very, very fast to readdress the balance of supply and demand, the whole grid goes down. Okay, yeah. So maybe that's not the great analogy because you can repower a city with black start or whatever and switch it back on. I suppose you could re-sew on a hand, but that's, think, the, that's the analogy. I, I like the analogy. It's good. So um, you need it. You need to go fast because of rock off. And so, and um, how does it work? Does it, does everybody have to respond that fast, or I believe there's, there's an incentive process somewhere. No, so, there? so the, basically, that that scalar payment I talked about is the incentive, right? The faster you respond, the more you get paid. So, although it's a frequency regulation product, the fact that but basically that why is 150 milliseconds important is usually that's if you're responding that fast, you're not just helping bring the frequency back up after the inertia is kicked in to save the system in the first milliseconds and helping recover it, which is what usually frequency regulation is about. This is actually, if you start adding power before the frequency has finished dropping, you're also helping reduce rock off. So that has a lot of uh, value, and particularly on a system where there's going to be lower levels of inertia, which Ireland is ahead of the UK on because it's, you know, because it's having this very high renewable penetration and it doesn't have the interconnection and and everything else. Makes sense. So that, in, in, um, in British terms, that's a bit like getting paid pounds per megawatt per hour in FFR. Mm-hmm. So I get paid FFR, but then National Grid says, hey, do FFR. If you do FFR really, really fast, which is technically very difficult to do, we're going to pay you a bonus. Yeah. Uh, because that because responding fast is worth more to us than responding slowly. That's pretty cool. That, that's basically it in a, in a nutshell, yeah. 